On the 2nd of October 2010, a routine space journey of the Intergalactic Space Liner 491 was raided by pirates, losing all hands, including the beautiful daughter of Queen Min, or so the Queen's official story goes. New evidence revealed this week suggests there was more afoot than the authorities revealed, and that the ill-fated starship may have been the subject of an official cover-up. Using footage gathered from the black box recorder of the ship itself, onboard communication logs, and recovered amateur video shot by passengers on board, we will tell the real story of that ill-fated ship and those who sailed in her. To begin with, everything seemed to be going well. Amateur footage shows the bursa welcoming the guests and the captain describing the flight plan. Welcome to the maiden voyage of the Pan Galactic Cruise Liner 491. <laughs> As I'm sure you can see, this is the most luxurious cruise liner ever built. It's the pinnacle of technological achievement for all of humanity and alienity. It is most definitely better than the previous 490 cruise liners, which I can assure you have definitely not mysteriously exploded, nor been lost deep in outer space. So, our captain is too busy captaining and commanding tonight to join us personally on the, uh, on the dance deck commentary room, but he'd still like to welcome you all to the flight. If we look to the ship's intercoms, we should be able to get, uh, uh, get in touch with him via the view screen. Uh, are you there, captain? Welcome to all passengers and guests of the Princess Nin on tonight's Charter Across Space to celebrate her birthday. I'm happy to have you on board. Tonight we'll be cruising at an altitude of 12. We'll start at zero and reach about 100 light years before descending the next 100 light years or so to the planet Nin. The Princess is, I'm told, already there waiting our arrival. If you'll look at our screens shortly, you'll see us rise up from grimy London town, reach orbit, and then the hyperdrive will kick in. Then Earth, along with its sun and star system, will fade to just a tinkle in the passing stars. And so it did, the ship speed in at impossible speeds towards the planet Nin. It wasn't long, however, before subterfuge and trickery were apparent. Yellow alert, activated. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, aliens and others, but we seem to have an emergency. If I could just appeal for calm, calm, this is not yet a full emergency. Update, Henson. Ship is approaching from starboard. On screen number one. Aye, Captain. Hello, party vessel. We're guests of, um, John. Yeah, John, John. Is John there? Hmm, uh, I don't think so. Do we have a John on board? Not John, not John. Steve, yeah, Steve. That's who we meant. Look, look, look. We've got bows. Mmm. <coughs> Cherry brandy. Seriously. Princess Nin, uh, Princess Nin, yeah, yeah, you know, Princess Nin, she invited us. And then you'll have the passcode. We might, boys, get us out of here. It seems that, initially at least, the pirates were discouraged and they left in peace. With the gate crashers rebuffed, the ship landed on schedule at Planet Nin and Queen Nin's beautiful daughter embarked. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you. The lovely, the wonderful Princess Nin. <laughs> Princess's guests were all awed at the sight of this precious item. It is, it is the most useful thing I've ever seen. It's amazing. Oh, it's so Perhaps it was knowing the jewel was aboard the ship which gave the pirates the cue they needed to mount a more frontal attack on the Starship 491. Seems we have pirates off the starboard bow. On screen. Get evasive action. 
Aye, Captain. Quickly, everyone. We need a boot to the engines to escape this pirate menace. Dance! Dance! And so dance they did, dance to power the engines, dance for their lives, all the while being chased by the pirate ship, desperately throwing shapes and boogieing, all in an attempt to outrun these dastardly pirates. Despite their predicament, despite their desperation, despite their fear, the dancers never ever gave up hope. The passenger's faith in the captain was not misplaced, for soon the bursar had an announcement. Keep dancing, the, the pirates are gaming on us. But first, oh, no. the captain has an announcement, so look to the view screens. Ladies and gentlemen, commodores and sentients, homo sapiens and homo whatever else, we have a plan to escape the pirates in the case of right now. But it requires absolute silence. We intend to hide behind the moon, coming up soon, and hope the pirate ship zooms straight past us for our notice. Please, when the next tune stops, stop dancing. Freeze until they pass. We need to power down the drives completely, and now no noise or energy to escape the ship. The passengers aboard the Starship 491 baited their breath as the captain stealthily manoeuvred the great ship behind the nearby moon, hoping and praying that the pirates would sail right by. And sure enough, the pirates, confused, left the area, leaving the 491 free to pursue its course and even for the band to play. Ladies and gentlemen, intelligent screensavers, adult recreation robots, I'm pleased to announce that sensors show no sign of the pirates anywhere. Yay! We have escaped! Welcome to the stage, the wonderful, the fabulous, handsome Jack Showman! Suddenly, during the set... Ladies and gentlemen, we're being bored. Do not panic. Do not panic. Okay, so what can we do? What can we do to let so you let us go? This is what I want. You're gonna take the egg, take it, take it. No! The pirates left as quickly as they had appeared. Passengers, you are safe. You are safe. There is no need to panic. You are safe. The boarding party of pirates has left the ship. Repeat, the pirates are no longer aboard the ship. You are safe. Report, you Captain.
right here, we've managed to place a tracer on one of the pirates. We're able to give chase to, uh, to rescue our jewel, at least to keep track of it while backup arrives. But we'll need all the power we can get. Please, Handsome Jack Showbat, play. Play for all your worth. As the official story goes, the 491 was raided by pirates who stole the Jewel of Nin. But note, not all hands were lost in the raid. The starship gave chase. Did the plan succeed? Were the pirates defeated? How exactly is the Queen embroiled in this mess? Find out in our next episode.